In education, over 93% of all school-going children are in school, thanks to universal primary education, which was introduced in 1997. At the time of its introduction, enrollment was just a paltry 3 million pupils in school. While the concerns in the past were access to school, today the question is one of quality because most parents now have their children in school. UPE is for what? For all mass education as opposed to elite education. Because the education we had in the 1960s was elite education. Education for a few. So when you hear them talking, oh, this one is lacking, this one is... Yes, it's lacking because we have invited all the people to come in the room here to eat. The room was small. It was only for a few people who were very comfortable. But we have now invited people who are outside in the rain. So you all come, let's, let's uh, squeeze. Uh, but, but, but access, knowledge. Whatever the case, by 2010, over 17,000 primary schools had been constructed across the country to provide classrooms for the 8.2 million plus pupils in school. Of these, 12,305 are owned by government, while 2,822 are non-government owned. In tandem with this, thousands of teachers have been trained to reduce the low teacher-pupils ratio. To date, over 168,000 qualified teachers are deployed in classrooms across the country, providing basic education to Uganda's children. The growth in access to education is also reflected in the number of secondary schools that are available. By 2007, the country had 2,664 secondary schools. These have now been expanded to over 3,234 with a total enrollment of more than 1,194,000 students. And because of the peace dividend, there's been an explosion in the number of privately owned secondary schools. By 2009, 2,200 secondary schools were run by non-government entities or individuals. In equal measure, the number of tertiary institutions has also expanded and is still growing. Business, technical, vocational education and training, BITVET has been emphasized to provide employable skills and competencies that are relevant in the labor market instead of educational certificates. A 10-year strategic plan to ensure this took effect in 2011 and will last till 2020 and is the result of reforms in the BITVET system during the last decade. From just one public university in 1986, Uganda today has 34 licensed public and private universities in operation. Besides private universities, the government has set up public universities of its own. Altogether, these universities have a total student population of more than 140,000 registered students. The leaders in population numbers is Makere University in Kampala, the first university in the country and the oldest in East Africa. To date, it has 35,000 privately sponsored and government-funded students. Close on its heels is the relatively newer Chambogo University with 26,000 registered students. These universities are playing a huge role in enabling Ugandan and foreign students to attain skills and qualifications for the region's development. In equal measure, the strides in improving the quality of life and human resource of Uganda have been possible thanks to the long-term peace delivered by the National Resistance Movement government.